All right, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, the Jazz beat the Chicago Bulls tonight. This is Hanson James, and this is the SLC Dunk post game show. I was kind of worried there a little bit. The game was kind of close, and I was wondering if this wasn't going to be Thanksgiving, but was going to become a Thanksgiving. Sorry for the Utah Jazz. Uh, not a ton to go over with this game. The Bulls are just not a very good basketball team, and that's probably a good thing for them, for their outlook and their future. Uh, getting rid of Jimmy Butler has really shown his value to their team and really to Minnesota, who has become a lot better team, not because of their young talent, but because of Jimmy Butler. But I was kind of excited to watch the the Bulls tonight. They have some interesting players. I actually am a fan of Chris Dunn. I, I don't know if he'll ever pull it together. I, I do have questions, though, about Chris Dunn, whether he can actually become – I think he can become a very good NBA player. I think that Thibodeau has shown that he's not great at developing talent, and – and he goes to to Chicago, and maybe he can figure things out there. I think he's recently been shooting pretty well in spot up three. So Chris Dunn's an interesting player. The one that's interesting with the Chicago Bulls is Larry Markinen, who I was interested to see did not have a good game tonight. And part of that is because the Bulls played last night against the Lakers, and so uh, back to back uh, against the Jazz. You know, after coming like playing the the Lakers in a tough loss, they were up by 19 at one point against the Lakers. The the flight from L.A. to Utah to play the next day is one of the toughest back-to-backs in the NBA. Um, so that could probably explain why Larry Markkinen didn't shoot all that well. Although we need to give a little bit of props to a player that's been playing really well for the Jazz and, and is going to make things interesting for Utah when Rudy Gobert come back, comes back is Jonas Jerebko. Jerebko played great against against Markkinen. He blocked his shot at the rim that time. He played really good defense on the perimeter. He was passing the ball well, and he was hitting his shot. Uh Jonas Drebko has been a really nice pickup for the Jazz, and it seems like he's really started to fit in with what the Jazz are doing. So tonight, Jonas Drebko starts, and he has 10 points on 66% shooting, two for three from three hits, has six rebounds, one assist, um, plus minus of plus 16. He was just really solid for the Jazz, and it's going to be interesting because the Jazz offense looks really good when Favors is at the center, and I think one thing that we're learning is that Derek Favors is a center. And when we play Rudy Gobert and Derek Favors together, it's two centers. And that's tough to do offensively. It's obviously pretty good defensively because Favors can move with fours in the league and guard them as a as a center. But when it comes to offense, when both Rudy Gobert and Derek Favors are not outside shooters or perimeter uh, creative players, you just... It's hard to do. It's hard to create a very high-level offense, and so it's tough, and there's no spacing. And then you combine that with the fact that we have Ricky Rubio, who is just not a great shooter. It makes it tough to score with this team, so it's rough. Ricky Rubio seems to be playing a little bit better lately, though, and I I like the production from Rubio. Uh, But I will say the player that's pretty exciting, yet again, Donovan Mitchell, has seven assists this game. In a game where Donovan Mitchell was one for ten, From the field, Donovan Mitchell was a plus 18, which means his defense was great. He had seven assists. It looks like he had five rebounds. And let's see, one steal, one block. He's just electric. And the plays, he had two or three little gimmies that he kind of gave up, and and they didn't go in for whatever reason. He missed that dunk. That would have been the highlight of the, the week. And then he had the... He just had a, a few gimmies at the rim that he just gave up, and for some reason his three-point shot wasn't falling, which recently it has been very well. So just one of those nights where it wasn't falling. I wonder if he's just a little tired, and this gives him a chance to rest. Uh, so, But really exciting. His vision is, going, is getting better and better. His passes are crisp, and they get to the right spot, and they'll just get better and better. It's really exciting what we have with Donovan Mitchell. It's going to take time. He's going to have to learn. He's... You know, he's going to have to learn to score at the rim better, but, you know, he's a rookie, so he's going to figure that out. Even Damian Lillard had to learn how to score at the rim, and I don't want to compare him too much to Damian Lillard, but they're similar body types, and they're both good outside shooters, and I think Donovan Mitchell has a lot of qualities of, of, of Damian Lillard, that type of player. And so it's exciting to see Donovan, Donovan Mitchell growth. It's going to take time. He's going to have nights like this where, for whatever reason, it's just not falling. But it's fun to see him go attack the rim and dunk. Well, I want to see more dunks from Donovan. Just more big dunks and more plays because he's so athletic. He's freakishly 
He can just jump through the roof, and he's quick as could be. He's fantastic. Um, but yeah, not a lot much more to say about this. It's the Chicago Bulls are not a very good team. If the Jazz lost tonight, it was going to be very bad, very very bad. I can't tell you. Um, the Bulls, who are the worst team in the NBA, on the back end of a back to back. If we lose tonight, then that is as bad a loss as you can get. Johnny Proctor, good win against a bad team. What what good teams should do? Yes, you should beat the Chicago Bulls on the back end of the back to back. The worst team in the NBA. Just something you need to do. Uh, not a lot of other to say than go, guys. Have fun. Eat Thanksgiving dinner. Enjoy uh, the day tomorrow and, and have some fun. And come back next time to watch our live shows. And make sure also, if you get a chance, like, subscribe. Go to SLC Dunk. Read everything there. Go to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Become a fan, friend, follower of everything. Talk to you later.